and the human being is in dire need of knowledge, thus he must learn a lot in order to free himself of his ignorance and lack of wisdom. But he will not be willing to learn, and will turn a deaf ear to the teachings of the prophet of the new time, thus his words will go unheard as if they are called out in a desert. Thus, the human being will continue in his old ways, and only a few will follow the words of the prophet. Therefore, the human being will continue to regard himself to be the creation, and will ever more strike out, and let himself be overcome by wrath and anger, vengeance and hatred, greed for power, injustice, greed for profit and jealousy. But through the power and control that he will have seized over animals and nature, as well as over life and human beings, he will feel strong and will continue to strike out like a wild barbarian, and destroy everything around himself. Thus he will remain a small dwarf in his thinking and feeling, as well as in his understanding and reasoning, although in many areas of advancement he will possess the strength of a giant. And in this manner he will stride forward like a giant but will not know which path he should take in the days to come because he will be lacking all the necessary knowledge and wisdom. In fact, his head will be very heavy from the great amount of knowledge that he has acquired, yet it will be a useless knowledge, because its value is not based on the value of the spirit, and is not uniform with the laws of the creation but is based only on human laws. Thus in spite of all his knowledge, the human being will be miserably lacking in true knowledge, for he will not know the reason why he lives and dies. Thus he will remain to be the impetuous one as he always was, the one who furiously and ignorantly waves his arms about and utters delusional words, or softly whimpers like a child who is not yet able to speak. Already in the second millennium following the birth of Emmanuel and still before the birth of the prophet of the new time, a worldwide war will cover the earth, and it will also be so two years after his birth. But that will not be the end, because like in the past, there will be new, larger and smaller wars everywhere, and this will continue to be the case until far into the third millennium. In all the four corners of the earth entire countries will become the spoils of war for the power greedy who are degenerated in the worst form of inhumanity, and thereby innumerable human beings will be put into the hands of death as well. And innumerable human beings will also be put into death's hands through the god cult that will incorrectly and through a crazy foolishness emerge out of the teachings of the prophet Emmanuel, for they will fall victim to an unimaginable falsification. Human beings in their own countries will be at war with each other and cut each other's throats, and wars will rage between countries and the believers of God cults. The Hebrons will become Jews, and twelve tribes of them will branch off, and will be believers of Allah. The Christian cult will emerge from Emmanuel's teaching, and they as well as the Jews, and the believers of Allah will not stop fighting each other until far into the third millennium after Emmanuel's birth. Every place on earth will become a bloody battlefield, and one of the reasons for this will be that each god cult believes to be the right and better one than the others. Therefore, the believers of all god cults will wrongly imagine they alone have the sole purity and true belief and will want to defend their delusional belief. Thus the believers of the various god cults will confront each other with force and doubt, with hatred and revenge, as well as with suspicion, treachery and with the intention to murder, and therefore death will inevitably spread everywhere. And through all this evil, very many human beings will be excluded from human rights and life, and will have neither bread nor shelter, for every right will be taken from them. They will be the poorest among the poor and will have to go around naked, and will have only their bodies to sell. They will be the outlaws and the outcasts, and exist far away from all those who live in joyfulness, magnificence and abundance. And those who live in this manner of affluence will grumble in their guilt, threaten the poorest whose land they occupy by force, and unrestrainedly reproduce themselves and they will hear perfectly well the harsh and just words of the prophet of the new time, yet they will be indifferent and have no fear of retaliation. But their arrogance will one day break down when the masses of people become barbarians, and seize everything by storming, destroying and plundering the palaces of those who are rich, who are governing, who are in top positions, as well as those who are powerful and are the cult's rulers. 
when the work of the prophet of the new time begins, the human being will already have entered an impenetrable labyrinth of fear, destruction and degeneration of the worst form of inhumanity. His fear will close his eyes and shut his ears, thus he will no longer be able to see and hear what is happening around him. His reflecting and trying to act will be overshadowed by suspicion and anxiety, and fright will accompany each of his steps. Yet he will not be granted any rest, for he is driven forward constantly. The voice of the prophet of the new time will be forceful, harsh and just because everybody must hear it. And those who shut their ears and pretend to be deaf will also hear his voice. And many will even hear the voice, yet deny it because they will want to continue accumulating more and more possessions. Thereby they will lose their heads to the illusory images of the god cults and to those who want to be their master through falsehood and deceit. Thus the human being will be deceived by those who call themselves their shepherds. Yet there will only be bad shepherds. When the millennium in which the new time prophet dies draws to an end, and when 800 years pass after his death, Human beings will have come so far to open their eyes and ears that they will be capable of seeing and hearing. But this will be, because the power of the Prophet's word will begin to take effect over centuries, and will permeate the feelings and thoughts as well as the reason of human beings. It will be a very arduous work that the Prophet and his loyal supporters will have to accomplish, however, their dedicated efforts will not fail to be successful. And slowly, the human beings will free themselves from the god cults and turn toward the truth of the spirit and the creation. Their heads will no longer be trapped in the delusional teachings of god cults and they will have their eyes and ears open, thus they will be able to see and hear from one end of the earth to the other, and will be able to understand each other from now on. They will have become cognizant that each blow that strikes the fellow human being will hurt and injure him. Human beings will form a large community in which each one is a part of the other. True love will create peace and freedom, and will unite humankind. And there will also be one special language beside the many that exist, which will be understood and spoken by all human beings. And this will finally be the start of the birth of the new, the real and true human. And when the end of the millennium draws near, the human being will have conquered the sky space and will fly toward the stars. He will also create stars in the deep and dark expanses of the sky where stars are gleaming. He will fly through the air and travel through space with large ships of shining metal and will set out on long journeys to search for a new home somewhere out in the far and distant sky. And the human being will be the master of the waters and will build large cities upon the oceans, and his nourishment will be the fruit of the oceans. And this will be the time when nothing will be prohibited for him anymore because he lives in accordance with the laws of the creation. The new time will bring about that human beings will be able to communicate with each other without having to use a verbal language, or megaphones, for with their thoughts, feelings and heads they will be able to receive and understand all messages, which another human being thinks and feels. And it will be that human beings will share their dreams with each other, and live long lives. Their life will be as long as those described in the old handed down texts, who reached an age of 1000 years. And it will be the time when human beings know the secret of all things, Thus the body of human beings and animals, the secret of gems and waters, and the look eyes of each other human being. He will penetrate all secrets, and will be cognizant of them, and consequently will be able to push open one door after the other into the realm of new life. The human being will be a powerful, productive and bubbling source of new life, and every human being will acquire the knowledge connected with the creation. The children of the earth will look up into space with reverence and will be more successful in probing into its secrets than anybody before them. The human being's body will be stronger, taller and more agile and his thoughts and feelings as well as his head will embrace all things and understand and integrate them. But all of this will already begin during the life span of the prophet of the new time, for his work will be a valuable contribution in this regard, although it will be denied by many who are jealous or want to know it better. And he will also do much so that the man will no 